Okay, so let's say you have a brother who is gifted, special, charismatic, and people start to follow him around. After a while, it goes to his head and he begins to think that he was sent from God and begins to call himself the Messiah. What would you think? you think he lost his mind, right? Well, James was the physical brother of Jesus. Jesus was a famous rabbi. He had his own disciples and crowds were starting to gather around him wherever he went. Jesus began to teach that not only was he from God, but that he was equal with God. What would you think if your brother started talking like that? In the Gospel of Mark, we're told that James and the rest of his family tried to restrain Jesus, and they thought that he was out of his mind. I imagine they were probably afraid that this kind of crazy talk would get him killed. In 1 Corinthians 15, Paul includes a creed that was being memorized by the early church in Jerusalem. The creed dates back to two to five years after the death of Jesus. In the creed, it states that Jesus was buried, he was raised from the dead, that he appeared to his disciples, and that he appeared to James. Jesus appeared to his brother after he was dead. I wonder what that conversation was like. James not only came to believe that his brother was the Son of God, but he became the pastor of the church in Jerusalem. In Acts, when they had the first ever church council to decide if salvation was just for Jews, it wasn't Paul who presided over it. It wasn't Peter. It was James. James presided over the most important council in the history of the church. How do you get from thinking your brother has lost his mind to believing that he was the Messiah and pastoring his church and then dying for that belief? Do you ever wonder about that? Something happened. Something wonderful happened. Something definitely happened. <laughs>